in a way, it's unlike a lot of people's past. I mean, it's unlike anybody's past. Um, but then again, there are similarities to others. And so when the jury goes back and they think, well, he had an, a, a birth mother that was a substance abuser and he was adopted by a family, you know, the jurors are probably even, if it's not them, they might know somebody who had been in the same situation and they could be saying, well, you know, I, I'm sympathetic to Nicholas Cruz, but I know somebody else who had the same background and they didn't grow up to be a, a killer. Then again, Nicholas Cruz is very different from other people. And so I, I'm curious when the jury listens to all of this background information on Nicholas Cruz, how much they're going to say, you know what, this wasn't his fault, um, this, he had no chance, uh, there's so many factors to consider. And then they're also going to say, well, I know people in similar situations and they didn't do this. I, I'm not sure how they're gonna weigh it. I'm curious what you think. You make a really excellent point that his background does have, have some horrible parts about it, but it's not so outstanding that there aren't unfortunately you know thousands of people living in this country who have experienced that kind of a background if not worse and we don't have these types of shootings from thousands of different people uh you're right uh, the 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 prosecution continues to go with the theme about the choices that he made because the point they're trying to make is that his background is not so bad that this horrible mass murder uh was not a foregone conclusion that this was some, these were choices that he made in spite of his background, in spite of the person that he was, he had to make choices and he made choices that day. Those choices were horrific and that he should be held responsible. That's the prosecution's theme and that's the point they continue to drive home.